Good afternoon, guys. Wanted to do a hitting one here quick for you. I know there's a lot of things, um, you know, going around about hitting and launch angles and, um, you know, not hitting ground balls and all that kind of stuff, which which I do agree with. Um, you know, I, I, I teach, you know, my kids to, to hit line drives and drive the ball over the infielders' heads. Um, ground balls typically, you know, as you, as you get um, into the higher levels of baseball, they usually get fielded it and you get thrown out at first base. Um, not every time, but the the percentages, at least the statistic, the statistics, um, are are speaking true to that. Um, so what what I think is lost in the whole launch angle um, uh, debate and and, and taught and, and, and teachings is what you had to do before that, um, because so many kids, you know, are, are still going down at the baseball. They don't get their barrel behind the baseball, um, and it's really hard to to establish. Um, any kind of launch angle when your point of contact isn't suitable for a launch angle. So what I mean by that, if you hit the top half of the ball and then you take your barrel up in the uh, up in the air to try to develop some um, launch angle, um, or so people call it, um, it it's, it's, doesn't work. So what I like to teach um, instead of launch angle is just getting to the slot position. Um, and it's a really super simple way um, to teach hitters to get the barrel behind the ball because if the barrel gets behind the ball before you make contact with it You can make contact three four different ways um, You know if you hit the top half of the ball I don't care what kind of launch angle your swing has or your shoulders have you're gonna hit a ground ball It's just it's it's physics um, and uh, So basically if you can kind of see on the screen here, I've got my son's awesome brewer bat so if we're in our stance the first part of our swing, when our swing goes, we're gonna to get to this position, okay? This is what I call the slot position. My elbow is near to my rib cage, okay? If you notice the barrel, or the knob of my bat is um, pointed towards the pitcher, and my barrel is behind the baseball, or the plane of the baseball. So now if I continue my swing from this angle, I continue it, okay, and extend out, now I can get the barrel behind the ball, and I can hit or what we call, you know, launch angle, where it's, you know, the ball is going over the infielder's heads. Obviously, there, there, there's more to a swing. You know, there's probably three, four, or five more steps um, that I go through to talk about. But the majority of the time when kids get in there, they don't get to that slot position. You know, their elbow stays out here, and they're going down at the ball. And you can teach launch angle all you want, but if they don't get to this position, that slot position, okay, that every good hitter that I've ever seen gets to that position, whether they're a power hitter, um, a, a slap hitter, um, all the best ones get to the slot position and then they continue the swing from that position and, and go into their contact point and extension and then they finish. So don't think about launch angle, think about getting to the slot position, okay? My, my favorite hitting guy uh, of all time, um, I heard him speak once, um, he's got a, a bunch of videos uh, still on YouTube and, and you know Tony Gwynn who's uh, you know rest in peace um, Tony but um, I, I love how he teaches and he teaches he teaches swinging the, the, the knob of the bat and it, it coincides with the, the slot position because if you swing the knob so if you go from your stance and you swing the knob and the barrel trails look at the position I get in okay I'm in that slot position that I teach the barrels behind the ball or on the plane of the baseball and we can continue our swing from there and Tony says you can hit the, out, the, the outer half pitch with that, the, the pitch down the middle, and the inner half pitch, swinging the, the, the knob of the bat and not the barrel of the bat. So both things kind of um, coincide with each other. Um, so instead of thinking about launch ankle, think about getting to that slot position. No matter where uh, the pitch is thrown, whether it's outside, down the middle, or inside, every, every good swing, every good hitter starts in that slot position, um, and then they continue the swing from there. And everyone's swing from that position is a little bit different, but all the good ones and all the ones, all the good ones that I've studied and I've seen, and I've seen a lot of good ones, they all get to that slot position. One one thing that's really cool, I love those cameras in, in major league parks where, um, you know, if a right-handed hitter, they have a camera straight on the right-handed batter and vice versa for the left-handed batter. And if you ever watch when they do those slow motion cameras, every big league hitter gets to this position. They get to that slot position and then they continue their swing from there. Um, it's, it, it, I mean, it's across the board. It's, you know, getting to that slot position and then finishing your swing and your, uh, everyone's swing is unique 
once they get to that slot position and what they do going forward. But getting to that slot position is more important to me than thinking about launch angle because if you don't get to that spot, if you don't get the barrel behind the ball, it doesn't matter what your launch angle is or what your barrel is doing after you make contact anyway. So get to the slot position first. Um, don't worry about launch angle. It's uh, um, I, I see some relevance to it, but I, I think it's a little bit overblown. I think people use it in the wrong context. I think it's used as too much of a buzz, a buzzword or a buzz phrase to kind of um, make themselves, uh, you know, sound uh, maybe a little bit uh, more um, uh, applied uh, than they are. So uh, think about uh, those things. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love some feedback um, on any of that. If anybody has any any thoughts on it, or maybe they think that I'm wrong, um, I'm, I'm very open to uh, discussion and. Um, I always like to learn new things and new ideas and how people think as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps. And uh, we'll talk to you here in a few days.